Was one of the church's main charges against Galileo about being unscientific in claiming victory, even though at the time there was insufficient evidence to rule out the modified geocentric model of Tycho Brahe. I hope I got that right. Our string theorists, here's yeah. where he's jumping today, failing, falling into the even worse era now. Would string theory and other untestable hypotheses be better thought as art, I guess, rather than science? This is from Justin. You know, Justin, that's a really enlightened question. Okay. Because uh, right now, I mean, string theory is certainly possible. It's also an, an incredibly elegant, uh, really mathematical, lovely theory. But that the problem is we don't have any empirical evidence for it. And it seems like it might be very, very difficult to test for for a variety of reasons. But the, the key question that you have is, yeah, do we have empirical evidence for string theory today? No, we don't. And, and here's the, the interesting thing, is that you know my little debate with uh, Stephen Hawking and Leonard Mladenov and, and, and uh, Deepak Chopra on the Larry King Show a while back, that, you know, that surrounded this whole area of whether or not string theory, um, you know, as Stephen Hawking was holding at the time, that, that basically string theory is, is, you know, can explain everything in the universe. Well, there's two reasons why that just can't be the case and why Stephen Hawking, much brilliant as he is, and by the way, Galileo was also quite brilliant. I mean, you don't develop the law of falling bodies without having some brilliance. And Stephen Hawking, of course, is very brilliant. Everybody acknowledges there's no problem there. Here's the problem. The problem is evidence. And of course, can you then make the claim that string theory can explain everything in our universe? No. Number one, there isn't any empirical evidence for it currently. We don't know. And number two, we don't know whether string theory is all there is. Remember, science is an inductive discipline. Scientists don't know what they don't know until they have discovered it. So therefore, you can never say this is the explanation because the next day somebody could make a discovery completely unthought of, completely unknown, completely undiscovered, which will change everything. Look at what happened to Sir Isaac Newton in the Relativity Revolution mm -hmm. by Albert Einstein. Enough said. You know, for all intents and purposes, Justin, you're right on the marker. Right. There's no way right. Stephen Hawking can make that claim, and string theorists can make that claim at this time. They're getting way right. ahead of themselves. In fact, over their skis, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Isaac Newton had a uh, Apple computer fall on his head, I think, is the way we have it today. So apparently, <laughs> is what actually might have occurred.